It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Chicago Bears next on Madden Football. Now from the second city of Chicago, head down Lakeshore Drive and you find Venerable Soldier Field, home of the Bears. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Parker. A couple of teams that were cellar dwellers a year ago, but as we've seen being around the league for a while, man, that can change one season to the next. And how often do we see, Mike, a team that finished at the bottom of their division just a year later be the division champion? I'm not suggesting that it's easy or necessarily that these two teams are going to find themselves in that position. But the NFL is made up of a formula that says you don't have to stay long forever. If you make the right decisions, you can go from worst to first very quickly. Stage is set. Ball is on the tee. And off we go on EA Sports. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. They'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Taken early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. From a pure talent standpoint, this guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. I mean, the powerful arm paired with a quick release, and he's as tough as they come. But in order for him to take that next step, he needs to put it all together on a more consistent basis. I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs here in this one because after hearing him talk throughout the week, I think he has his sights set pretty high. His pass It's Chico Conquer. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. For tight end, Okonkwo is in motion. Throwing on second down. Bounce. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Levis to throw it here on the first down. Back in with his tight end, Okonkwo. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. Two defenders in the area, Mike, but it just doesn't seem to matter. This is an offense that continually trusts their guys to make big plays regardless of the coverage. And they're about to pick up a fresh set of downs because will be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming, and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. That'll run it with Tony Pollard. He'll get him behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. Here's third and seven. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. 
Levis to throw on first and ten. Exactly the way they scripted this one. A beautiful opening drive, Greg. Able to find the end zone on the game's first possession. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution. And that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm. And that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. The veteran Nick Pope here for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans will take a 7-0 lead. This is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. Won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. And we've continued to see the young quarterback, Mike, just continue to get used to the speed of the game. And I think that's the biggest thing you hear young quarterbacks talk about coming out of the college ranks. Regardless how good you were in college or what level you played at, there is a big jump in just the speed and the intensity in the NFL. The quarterbacks that get caught up to that speed the quickest have the most early success. The ones that are a little bit slower, things seem to take a little bit more time. So as he gets more and more reps under his belt, more and more starts in the NFL level at the quarterback position, just expect him to get more comfortable and more acclimated and become the player we saw back to his college days. Off play action. Here's Williams. And good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And it's going to be third down. There's a saying on defense, Mike. Tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it's a to the start for this one. They walk down the field to get the touchdown, and then the defense joins the offensive party, Greg. Each side has scored a touchdown early on. Yeah, and you just can't draw up a worse start than this, Mike. I mean, not only to allow the opposing team to go down and score on their first drive, but then to follow it up with a pick six. You find yourself in a big hole here early. Do they have enough to dig their way out? Now, folks, on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans extend their advantage to 13 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out, so they'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Bears offense ready to see the football for the second time. 
They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Drive will begin with a run by Swift. He'll push forward for about a yard. Jack Gibbons is there to bring him down. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That one intercepted. And they extend the lead. The defense joining the party. A pick six for a touchdown. Greg, they are extending this lead out. Yeah, now you've just seen both sides just make their impact felt here in the first half. The offense has done their part, and now it's the defense that is able to capitalize on the turnover and take it all the way back for the pick six. now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Carter on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. They are facing an uphill climb early. Begin this drive with first and ten. To throw, it's Williams. After the long time charger, it's Keenan Allen. Five terrific quarterbacks from Southern California, and here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? He's twisted down, and a leap flag comes in. We're going to get a face mask added on here. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Here's Swift. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Jack Gibbons is there to bring him down. Hook him up on a second down and eight. They'll go play action here with Williams. Taking off. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Now a third and two. Go, 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 
They'll try to run for it. It's Swift. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, it's Cairo Santos on for the Bears' field goal. This a 46-yard attempt. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears are on the board here in the first. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here's Tajay Spears. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They've raced out to a big lead as they look for a potential early knockout. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. They get 13 to begin the drive. It's a first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formation, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Hopkins, first catch. Good enough for a first down. Every defense in the league, Mike, they stress the importance of defending the middle of the field. It's the most valuable real estate in football. And in this case, that's just too much room to operate. They have to find a way to close and cloudy up those windows, make the quarterback throw the ball to the sidelines. And you allow him to operate in there, especially with that much space, you're going to make for a long day. That's a gain of 11, and they'll move the chains with another first down. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to sprint them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On first and ten, here's Levis. This throw, right side, taken in by Ridley. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. 
They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. Over pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight yard line. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. It's back at the eight now for second and goal. Out of the shotgun, Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as tough. And we try to swing it outside, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. Set up his guys with great field position. A huge chance to cut into the deficit. So often, the defenders are just happy the ball ends up in his hands, but not this guy. I mean, the catch was one thing, but then the party really got started. I mean, look at this return. He gets one block, he gets another. He's got teammates springing him all over the field, and this offense is lucky. This didn't go all the way back for a pick six. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set. To take over once more, they'll start really in field goal territory already, but they're looking for more. Offense got it first and ten. second down he's just unable to secure the catch through the contact and really nice job timing that hit up by the defense and at this point all you can do is get up get back in the huddle and hope your quarterback gives you another shot in trouble down he goes the best thing they did here mike is keep their rush lane integrity what that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit keep him in the pocket keep him on that x and when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. Third and long. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And that is incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bears are back within two scores. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away this is fielded inside the five and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin there the titans offense ready to take over once more gonna be looking to possibly push this to a three score advantage what to do on this drive first and ten
drive starts. It's a carry by Powell. And the defense right on that. I don't know if keeping would have done any better. No game on that play. So after one, it's the Titans out to the early lead. We're back to Soldier Field after this. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's Lights. Looking to set up the screen now, but he decides not to force it. And it's incomplete. This entire game, you've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. From the gun, it's Levis. He'll get this into the hands of Wrigley, complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Wow, how dangerous after the catch. That one goes for 27 yards in all. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. The motion man is bored. On first down, Levis. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. When you can win so fast as an edge rusher, you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up. He can sense that pressure coming either from his front or back side. It either speeds up and leads to an errant throw, or in this case, leads to a sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Levers to throw. That's Tony Powell. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball. Keep that to a short game. Third and long. Here is Levis. And that is incomplete. DeAndre Hopkins was the intended target for that one. And it's going to lead to a fourth down. The most important stat like to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential. Your ability to protect the ball and on defense take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. The Bears offense ready to get back to work. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. of a yard here well has been the case this entire first half it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team some offensive struggles but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss on second down it's Williams and he'll be taking down up past the 40 yard line a first catch for DJ and a first down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. 
Set to go now on first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes. And once you do, you can try to go for the big one. A play fake and a throw with Williams. Over the middle, that's connect. And a whistle and down, but not before he picks up a first down after a game of seven. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 on that one. First down, Chicago. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. Space to run. Inside the 20. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10 yard line. 29 yards in all. And they'll have it first and goal. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Here's Williams. He pulls it in around the five. And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just die. And he will dive into the end zone. DeAndre Swift. Cut down Chicago. And a big score, Greg. They continue to get points. But after not getting touchdowns, this has to feel really good to this offense. It really does, and I think anytime you can build on your confidence that now you know the rest of this game, you can finish these good drives. Coming away with two field goals, those are wins for the defense. So now a win for the offensive side of the ball, and gotta see now if you can keep this rolling throughout the rest of this game. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. His kick is good. The Bears are back within one score. It is an eight-point game. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away a safe kick taken at the bottom a good return as he takes it across the 30 the titans offense getting set to get back to work the advantage is eight we'll see if they can make this a two score game on this drive first down and ten to throw. The middle, and he's got Wrigley. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down.
throwing is Levis. That game with his tight end, he'll come for it. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. His ability to find open space and be friendly for the quarterback. It's easier said than done. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space. But not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Throwing on second down. Levis gets it away quickly, and it's caught. They're going to work this down inside the 45. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Every time you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. On second down, left. Routes another catch for his favorite target. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. as they start this next drive. Here's first and ten. On the bootleg... It's Williams. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They go. Pretty evident that the defense is just giving no time of day to any run actions. They are playing pass all the way, and he can continue to give as many play action fakes as he wants. It hasn't affected anybody, and in this case, it results in a sack. to throw on second down. They'll get maybe three out of that one and first set up third down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. What a letdown for the defense. They allow a conversion on third and 16.
from the 35, it's first and 10. Now Swift. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. They'll go again with Swift. And he'll be near the first down marker. It's called a game of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. here in this first half we'll come back to soldier field following this they'll look to pick this up third and a yard on third down it's williams from the gun and the defense can't come up with a stop there gain a seven and a first down Santos for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Bears move back to within one. more as the kicks away. Spears now to return it. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Titans offense headed back to take over once more. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. first of their timeouts and they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half Seconds to go in this first half. 
I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass. Because the quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time. And he's able to secure a really nice catch. Levis to throw here on first down. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Titans going to use the last of their timeouts here. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go until halftime. Here's second and three to go. Levis to throw. Team heading to the visiting locker room. The Titans are on top. As we'll get you down to Orlando now. That's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports halftime reports. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could hope for with both these teams in it to win it. Well, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. contested first half and would expect more of that here in the second half. A one-point game as quarter three begins. Good return. He pays the price at the end. Quick drop and thrown down. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. Come up here first and ten. Working out of the gun. Here's Williams. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Here's Williams down the front. He'll go right back to Kamek. He's got it again. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. They'll go play action here with Williams. Give it's swept. And he finds 
some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Here's a second and three fourth come. Off play action. Here's Williams. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, Hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Third and short yardage, and here's Williams. He's got it at the seven. And he's very close to a touchdown. The Markman just shot the goal line. A big play and a much needed one as well. 35 yards. Well, he certainly didn't look like a rookie on that long completion, Mike. Not only his ability to scan the field and find his favorable matchup, but he was able to hit his downfield target in the perfect spot that led to that big game. From the one-yard line, first down and goal. They'll run with Swift. And he will not get in from there. In fact, I think he was shoved backwards a little bit. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. On second down, it's Williams. That's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked up by Gita Bay Ouzier. All right, Mike, file this play away. If they're able to hold on and pull this game out, we're going to look back on this as the pivotal moment of this game. Oftentimes, it takes that one big moment to sway the outcome of a game, and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone. The Titans offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They'll start out first down and 10. story here take you back through the high or actually the low lights in this one not a lot of positives 
when you have a free interception game under pressure all game long the secondary feasting on his passes First and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. To the right side, into the hands of Moore. 11 yards on the pass there. Good for a Bears first half. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. And now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. Third down. It's William. That's made there by Allen. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down mark. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision. Job number one on this drive, find a way to get the lead. They, of course, would have loved to score a touchdown, Mike. But three points here, that's a pretty good consolation prize as it moves them out in front. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Spears now to return it and he'll be set up well as he is past the 35 yard line well he had such a great first half throwing the football there's no reason to think Mike coming out here for the start of the third that anything's going to change he's picked up right where he left off and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played And 10 now from the 36. Now Levis. This one caught by the back of the backfield. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. An even 40 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. A first set of downs to work with. It is first down and check. Ground is Pollard. He'll get about two. It was Kevin Byard that time to make the play. The 
Motion Man is bored. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle. Like, I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. They come to the line, needing 11 here on third down. Levis. That is brought in at the 10. And he's into the end zone. Big Okonkwo. Touchdown, Tennessee. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. It's up and good. And the Titans will up the lead to five. more as the kicks away. Carter on the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. And this is just more of the same, picking up exactly where he left off in the first half. And these numbers, Mike, as you see them, they just pop out at you. I mean, he has been the driving force of this offense from the very start. the huddle coming up now for first and ten to throw is Williams a quick slide looked in by Moore a mark him down up at the 44 yard line 13 yards to start that drop and a quick first down Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Williams. Off he goes. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. These plays just kill you on defense. The pressure's good, but you have to contain them. Quarterback does a nice job of escaping the pocket, turns into a runner, Scrambles for positive yardage. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. First time they've whipped his way all game long. He comes through with the grab and a first down. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays and... These drag routes can be very, very effective. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Yes. 
stick to the ground. And he does some good work on the ground here. Going to take it inside the 30 with a run of eight yards. Come to the line now on second and two. A play fake, and they'll throw with one. And for the fourth time today, he has been intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Derek Murray. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal. You can take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The visitors' offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. from their own 23. They'll begin first and 10. They give to Pollard on the option. He makes one man miss, but stop quickly as they hold him to a gain of one. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. On second down, left. There's that man again. Another catch. We'll try to pick this up on third and eight. Out of the shotgun. Levis. He's got his tight end. That's a punk ball. A gain of 16 yards. That's good for a Titan first down. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack, so don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. But on this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, but probably for the rest of this game. Right back to Boyd, he's done it again. 
He's not going to get too far. Tackle him after a gain of just a yard. Second down throw here for Levis. To the left side, caught by Ridley. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Third and six. Here's Levis. To the left side, in the hands of Bull. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. The throw here is complete. He tucked the ball down, took advantage of the space, and he was able to take it all the way. Folks, at the point is good. And the Titans will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return it's Tyler Scott and he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line the Bears offense starting to try it out for this next possession the deficit is double digits so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten Williams now to throw. Here's a screen taken in by Swift. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Operating from the shotgun, it's William. Oh, for the fifth time, he is intercepted. Picked up by Roger McCreary. Nothing the defense loves more, Greg, than the opportunity to not only stop a team, but 
turn him back around the other way. A touchdown on the pick six. Yeah, defense just loves getting their hands on the ball when they can, Mike, but it is extra special when they're able to capitalize and take it all the way back for six. These are the ones that rip your heart out on the offensive side. Folk now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans tack on one more to their lead. teams ready to go once more as the kicks away Scott now on the return and he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line the Bears offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession things not looking good but see if they get the turnaround going here they'll start this drive with first down It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. On the out, connected with Allen. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Throwing on second down, Williams. He'll tuck it and take it off. And he's going to be brought down, but not until he gets inside the 35. There was a lot of questions surrounding this quarterback about whether his style of play from college would transfer to the NFL game. Well, his ability to create with his legs certainly has here today. We see it with his ability to escape pressure out of the pocket, and he's able to pick up the first down. Going on first down, it's Williams. There he goes again. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. And more of the same. Another interception. Picked off by Gina Beowuzia. score Greg that is the one thing this offense did not want to see and it really is demoralizing to see that happen in that spot absolutely Mike and that's one of those cases where you just would like to see the quarterback say all right I'm gonna live to play another day don't force that throw don't try to make a play that's not there because not only do you turn the ball over you give them an easy six and on the other side the defense what a moment uplifting for them big momentum build yeah, and that's the way games are shaped in this league, Mike. I mean, you find yourself able to capitalize on a mistake by an offense. You get yourself an easy touchdown. All of a sudden, your sideline finds themselves completely rejuvenated. Folks, extra point is good. And the Titans are going to extend their lead.
Our kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Scott now on the return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over once again. They'll start it here with a first and ten. receiving yards on the afternoon now and a first down to boot it's no secret this day has been a rough outing all around so at this stage of the game really no choice but to remain aggressive and just try to find something positive on a day where there's been a lot of negative they'll run out of the gun it is swift he'll work his way ahead for a game of about four In the fourth quarter, Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, here's a second and six. Now, Williams. That's over the middle, taken in by Dunze. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Williams. Well over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the past. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. A game there of 21. First down, Chicago. Really nice answer to the previous drive from this quarterback. You want to play at this league and you want to play for a long time, you better have a short-term memory because mistakes are going to happen. Really nice job here bouncing back, putting together a promising drive, and he's hoping to come away with a touchdown on his own. They'll try again here, second and ten. To throw it again, it's Williams. He'll go right back to Komet, he's down again. The Bears are looking at a first and goal. He's taken down at the two-yard line. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag, but... You still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. They'll try it again from the two. Second and goal. Throwing again. Williams. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. We do get a bit closer as 
as they score here in the final minute of play. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. to the final few seconds of this one as the kick is away. This will be taken in the end zone. No run back for coming. And the ball coming out to the third yard. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. And he'll be set up now. Past the 40 with that one. the big first quarter lead did not look back as they cruise in this one. 